Unai Emery knocking out the team who sacks him, Martin. Will there be a real sense of pride and, and vindication for him? Yeah, I think he struck a blow. Um, whether he can now go on and win this, he's in a record five finals. Uh, he's won it three times already. I think Manchester United, though, they come too big now. Manchester United, the form they're in, the way they've knocked Roma out convincingly. Um, it's, you know, you have to say he's got a proud record. He does it, doesn't he? So many times in this competition, they should almost name it after him. He's won it so many times. But I think Manchester United will surely have too much for him this time around. He just has that knack, though, doesn't he? As Martin said, of winning silverware in this competition. You, you wouldn't bet against him. No, I mean, tactically, he's very good and he tried to match up when it's only two games or now in the final, it's only one. Um, he can uh, make life difficult for Man United with his tactics, I think. But uh, quality wise, and if you look like Martin said, Man United brushed aside Roma quite easily and uh, they are definitely the favourites for, for the final. From what you've seen of them over the two legs, how can they uh, cause problems and trouble Man United? No, but let's say you look at the set place, for example, that's how they got the goal uh, in the first one against Arsenal in the, in the first leg. Uh, small details where he can frustrate United, I think, and if they don't get an easy or sloppy goal, and then all of a sudden nerves comes into play and it gets difficult. Chiquese was a, a good player, wasn't he? Went off injured, he want him back for the final. Moreno as well, uh, Wiley Fox up, up, up top. But I think actually this was more about how Arsenal lost this, this failure to, to, to win this tie. I think they almost shot themselves in the foot, really. I, and I do feel that both manager, players, they play their part in this. That, I don't think Villarreal is an unbelievable team. Yes, I think tactically they've got an astute manager, knows how to win games in that first tie. Straight away, half time, 2 0 up, takes off the centre forward because he knows that, you know, that he doesn't want to concede the away goal he did then tonight. They're quite conservative. And they just they worked Arsenal out tonight, and Arsenal weren't able to do that to them. But I think, as I say, you get to a final on, in a one off match, I think the, the quality that Manchester United have, the likes of Cavani, will have too much for them in that game. But you, you, as I say, he'll make it difficult for Manchester United because tactically he's very good. They've gone through the whole competition unbeaten, though, Villarreal. Yet yet to be really troubled, though. But, but still, you see a, um, a big missed opportunity for Arsenal. Oh, we're, we're, without doubt. There's no doubt. Look, you see Emery there. The, the, you know, I know he was... Um, he, I think he showed a lot of class, actually. He lost his job. Um, said that, it, you know, these things happen. Uh, but he desperately wanted to win. You saw that in that celebration. means a lot for him that um, he's been able to put one over on his old club. And they, they did that tonight with his team. We saw them celebrating. They were out here again just 10 minutes ago. Uh, they're really buzzing off beating Arsenal. That's a huge scout for them in Europe. They've played Manchester United four times before in the Champions League group stage. They've all finished goalless, Freddie, just, just to get that final, the big sell. <laughs> a lot of entertainment then. <laughs> no, it's... Uh... I hope it's going to be a great final. Uh, I'm happy for Una, even if I'm very disappointed. Uh, he deserves it. They played really well. And, uh, but I, I think Man United will win the final.